Welcome to the second video of Gatsby. Today we are going to see how to create some components and let's see how to interact with them. So if you want to see more about Gatsby, you can check their site, it's awesome. And I'm following more or less their documentation, which is really, really clear. So last time we saw how to create the the blog and now we are going to see how to create different components that we can reuse so this is react right that means that we can do everything we want something that it's pretty common or at least this is what i saw is that we are going to have our components folder and over there we have our layout we want to have a layout that we can reuse and we also want to show the same title everywhere so for doing that we have to import react from react of course then sport const layout and this layout is going to receive a title which is going to be rendered here and then we can also receive children and we have other div for the children that's more or less everything we have to do here and then in the pages component we don't want to have this div anymore we want to import our layout from components layout and then we can use it let's layout receives a title which is going to be this title and then <coughs> we can also pass to the layout our children this is the content of our blog and let's see if this is working we can always check our um, console that it's running in this other tab and uh, yeah we have a little bug over there because we this is just a plain string this is not js and then okay there is one warning but was not found in components layout let me check that uh, export default layout and once again we can go to our console layout is not defined okay export default layout let's do it in this way <coughs> i think it's more clear export default layout and let's remove commas okay now everything is working i'm will be also improving my indentation is in pre prettier yeah that's working now let's check if our blog is there okay yes it's over here we have the title and also the content of our blog okay. but this is okay for now but let's say we want to write our post we are not going to use our JS components for doing that our idea is that we're going to start writing everything inside markdown components and then somehow this is going to be rendered by our components dynamically and we're going to see that in the next video